Thank you. Yeah, we're good. Thanks. Free show? Yeah, free show. Pacing about. Pacing like a mad lion. Like a what? A mad lion. You know, you see a lion in the zoo and they just go backwards and forwards. That's what I do. Yeah. What goes through your head? Everything. None of it useful. Try and remember the words. When you're nervous, you can't remember the words at all. So it's like a torture. It's like a test, you know, just before you go and have a test, an exam, you can't remember the words. If you try, you go, oh my god, I don't know it. So you just have to be confident that it's there somewhere. And quite often it's not. <laughs> yeah, I use that. I put a spin on it. <laughs> I make looking like you don't know what you're doing. That's my style. <laughs> it's, it's weird in, this, uh, in America and in Canada because um, a lot of Americans are quite... Uh, slick in their presentation. They, so when they see, I think sometimes at first when I came over, because I make a little bit up on stage and sometimes look like I'm reaching for words, I think they think, he hasn't learned it, what's he doing? You're very organic. <laughs> I like it to look like it's just occurred to me. But um, sometimes it does, yeah. Hopefully I'll throw a few things in, try and trip myself up. Hopefully. I always sort of try and throw my one thing in to upset it all for myself. I don't know why I do that. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, a little bit, because then it sort of keeps it fresh. So there's one joke tonight that I'm not sure, I don't think I've ever done, so I'm, or maybe once. I think I might just throw it in, if it's going well. We'll catch you after the show, you'll tell me about it. If it's good, if it, is, if it goes badly, there'll be no one here. You'll just be filming this empty card. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully see you again. Have a great show. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. I've got a face, it's all gonna be okay. You all right, sir? Come on, let's touch in a kind of I'm Christ and you're a leper kind of a way. <laughs> I'm only joking. Where are you from? Where are you from? Montreal, you're Montrealer. I like that, I like that you call yourself Montrealers, it's cool. How many Montrealers we got in tonight? <laughs> we got any Torontonians in? That's not enough. Montrealers, we could kill the Trontonians. <laughs> I love Trontonians just because of their name, the Trontonians, because it literally sounds like a mythical creature. Oh, we're the Trontonians. Look at us, we have the legs of a ram. We're the, we're the Trontonians. <laughs> oh dear. So, I tell you. I was in the bath the other day with my partner and uh, you always think it's going to be romantic, don't you? You always think it's going to be romantic, but then you end up, it never is. You end up having an argument and uh, about who should sit at the end with the taps and uh, we started having an argument, it got out of control, we started splashing each other with water, we started throwing soap dishes at each other's heads. Eventually my girlfriend come in. <laughs> She said, I don't mind you and Jeff running a small business together, but this bath time stuff, that's got to stop. She made Jeff get out of the bath. She said, Jeff, get out of the bath. You can go in after him. You can have his cloudy water. Jeff was furious. He went, fuck that. I'm going to have a horse wash at the sink. I'm going to do my armpits and my balls. Jeff, Jeff thought he'd won. He went off like John Travolta, like that. He hadn't won though, Montreal, he hadn't won because when he turned round, I had a bubble beard. <laughs> the 
bubble beard. It always wins in any situation. I hate you! You're rubbish! You're not even good in bed! You killed my sister with a tractor! The power of the bubble beard. You got some pretty good nature here, though. You got some good nature, haven't you, sir? I love nature. I'm not very good with nature. Like I sort of, I got stung by a jellyfish. It was a nightmare. <laughs> Anyone else here been stung by a jellyfish? What? All of you? <laughs> you can't clap the notion of being stung by a jellyfish, sir. You, you got stung by a jellyfish? Really? Where? On your leg? No, I meant, you know, where? What country? Did you get stung here? Prince Edward, oh, Prince Edward Island. I have no idea where that is. <laughs> oh, thanks for that. I got stung in Starbucks. <laughs> Not really. I got stung in St. Lucia. But was it painful? Yeah, it's a nightmare, isn't it? Like, I got stung by a massive jellyfish. Like, I didn't, I thought, well, actually, the thing is, when you get stung by a jellyfish, it's not as bad as you imagine it's going to be. Like, you think, I was imagining a sort of angry jellyfish behind a rock with a taser gun, just like that. And I was going to swim past, and he'd jump out and go, yeah, take that, motherfucker. It wasn't really like that at all. It was more sensual than that. He kind of came over. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. La la. It was quite French actually. La 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 la. La 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 la. La la. It was. It's like being stung by Serge Gainsbourg. It was amazing. He was smoking underwater. And he created bubbles and then smoked inside them. <laughs> he was riding a sort of bicycle at one point. La 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 <laughs> But um, it was weird because when I saw the jellyfish, I just thought, oh my god, at first I thought it was a bag. I thought, oh my god, there's a bag in the sea with me. This is a nightmare because I've got a phobia of bags. Then I saw that it had eyes, lady. Imagine that if you're scared of bags and then you see a bag with eyes. That is a nightmare. But then I realised it was a jellyfish, yeah? And basically it was like a metre away from me, right? And I'm not very good at swimming, so I started swimming. I was like, whoa, I'm swimming, I'm swimming, I'm swimming. I must have swum for like f what I thought was 50 minutes, but in reality it was probably three, right? I turned around, he was still a metre away. I could not get away from him, right? So I started to panic. I started to do the butterfly stroke. I mean, I don't even know what that is. I've only seen that shit on TV. I was like that, whoa, whoa, whoa. I basically looked like a butterfly having a stroke. That's what was happening. So I was butterfly stroke, butterfly stroke, turned around. He was still only a metre away. I couldn't believe it. I could not shake this jellyfish. It was a nightmare. Then a speedboat came past, right? So I grabbed onto the back of it, yeah? Like Michael J. Fox in Back to the Future. It was unbelievable. Like an aquatic Back to the Future. I thought, this has got, I've got to lose this jellyfish. So I'm going around the whole island of St. Lucia three times. And I think, yes, take that jellyfish. I turn around. He's still only a metre away absolute nightmare apparently one of these jellyfish tentacles got caught up in the string on my speedo trunks <laughs> i was basically flying him like an underwater kite <laughs> and then he stung me and that's a nightmare it really hurts doesn't it oh man and i went all stiff oh he was like that eh, and i was like, oh and i just for some reason i don't know how i knew this but if you get stung by a jellyfish you're supposed to wee on the wound aren't you that's true. That's not even a joke. Does anyone, can anyone verify that so I don't sound like I'm mentally ill? <laughs> have you ever heard of that, Canada? You have to wee on the wound, right? The problem is, I didn't need to go. I'd already had a secret wee in the ocean. 